An army operation gone wrong in Nagaland and that has led to conversation happening about the revocation of AFSPA. This has been asked by a lot of leaders of Nagaland. What is AFSPA and what really happened in Nagaland is what we talk about in this video next four minutes. I'm Arun Singh. Let's begin with what happened in Nagaland. So on 4th of December, Army Special Forces Unit held an encounter operation to fight insurgents or militants in the Mon district of Nagaland. Where is Mon? Well, it is in the northernmost part of Nagaland and it is bordered by Arunachal Pradesh, Myanmar and Assam. A uh, lot of Konyak Nagas stay there. Uh, that is a warrior tribe of Nagaland. So the encounter operation was held on a tip and a truck was supposed to be the target. Now the truck had eight people, six of those were killed and then rest of the two uh, also died on their way to the hospital. Turns out that they were coal workers and they were mistakenly attacked as per sources. Uh, these uh, people uh, who, who lost their lives, uh, who were in the truck, had no ammunition on them. So after this botched up operation, local villagers attacked the army team. So this tussle happened uh, and in retaliation, army also opened fire. And as a result, one para commando was killed, seven were injured. And on the other hand, five villagers were killed and several injured. The next day, mobile internet and data services were suspended in the district. Army in a statement expressed their regrets over the unfortunate loss of lives. The Nagaland police filed a Suomoto FIR against 21 para special forces of the Indian Army. They said that the special army unit didn't inform police and nor did they take any police guide for the counter insurgency operation. Home Minister Amit Shah has expressed uh, regret over the killings in the parliament. SIT has been formed, which will complete investigation in one month. Nagaland CM, nephew Rio, said we are asking central government to remove AFSPA. That brings us to the second part of this explainer. What is AFSPA? Well, AFSPA stands for Armed Forces Special Powers Act. It gives armed forces some special powers, as the name suggests. This is usually regulated in disturbed areas, which are designated by the government itself. Now, these are areas which are considered to be in dangerous condition. It gives armed forces some special powers like power to open fire, power to enter and search without warrant, power to arrest any person who has committed a cognizable offense. But on top of all of this, they have a special power, which is they can do all of that while having immunity from being prosecuted. Where all is it in effect? Jammu and Kashmir, Nagaland, Assam, Manipur, excluding seven assembly constituencies of Imphal and parts of Arunachal Pradesh. When was it enacted? On August 18, 1958, there was a bill moved uh, to battle the Naga insurgency in then uh, state of uh, Assam. And on September 11, 1958, AFSPA was first implemented in the Northeast and then in Punjab. But has this ever been repealed in past? Of course, multiple times. Uh, law has been repealed where insurgencies have subsided. For example, it was repealed in Tripura in 2015 and in 2018, Meghalaya was also removed from this list. Uh, if you remember, Iram Sharmila, an activist who went on a hunger strike for 16 years against AFSPA. Uh, well, in that case, in Imphal municipal area, the uh, this this act was uh, repealed. Coming back to the Nagaland case, police have filed a murder case against the army unit, accusing the troops of intent to murder. But will or can they be prosecuted is to be seen, especially when Home Minister Amit Shah didn't mention of any waiver of the act in this very case. So this is what pretty much happened in Nagaland and a brief introduction to AFSPA with Ratnadeep Chaudhary. This is Arun Singh for NDTV.